Good morning and welcome to the end of week number one of my vegan 30 days. Now, the sad news this week is I haven't lost any weight. But the good news is I'm still feeling pretty good. When I first started this vegan challenge last Thursday, um, I did notice my energy levels go a little bit down um, and I wasn't feeling quite as great as I have been because obviously with all the weight loss and everything just recently you know every single day I've just been high as a kite just flying in my classes and just generally being in a good mood um, but this week I haven't lost any weight and looking back over my week obviously I've been counting my points on Weight Watchers and I have gone over my points now the problem with being vegan is you do compensate your meat with fats which can be really really difficult hi nikki welcome to the live video hi anita um and so because you you're because you've been used to eating like eggs and meat and fish you kind of feel a little bit deprived and you want to put something in their place and sadly a lot of these things that you put in their place chickpeas lentils they are actually very high in natural fat so you have to be really really careful so i'm learning the hard way the perils of being vegan and vegetarian it's actually really hard to lose weight and be vegan and vegetarian because of the fat content of these foods as we know um you know i love like chicken thighs i'm more than happy to have a couple of chicken thighs and loads of salad um, so for me, you know, I have had to add more flavour and unfortunately more fat to my food this week and haven't lost any weight. So what I'm going to do is do another week, guys, of this vegan challenge. You know me, I'm not one to give up easily um, and hopefully we will see a great weight loss last week. For those of you who are vegan and vegetarian out there, I'd love to know, I'd love for you to share with me how you are losing weight. And you know, some low fat, low calorie foods you're eating that actually taste good. Hi Janice, welcome to the live video. Hi Nikki. Uh, we're related, are we, <laughs> uh, Nix? Uh, drink more water, yes, you're right. Um, but my focus this week really is, remember I spoke about the zero point foods, is to just really start basing some or most of my meals on the zero point foods, which is quite difficult when you're vegan on this level. Um, but again, focusing on the chickpeas, and getting the flavour from those um, legumes rather than the fat. Because as you know, I love coconut oil and loads of vegetables with coconut oil for me is delicious, but it's very high in calories. The other thing as well which I'm doing, which I've been doing for um, quite a few weeks now, is the gluten-free. And a lot of people have obviously pointed out if you look at the calories on gluten-free bread and a lot of gluten-free products, it's actually higher than the gluten version, which again for weight loss, although it may be good for your digestive system and may be good to make you feel less bloated, actually because there's more calories in gluten-free products, it can be it can slow down your weight loss so this is where um, you know I not I'm not eating gluten-free bread I'm not eating gluten-free um, cereals because I can see and I've tasted them in the past they're highly processed they almost taste like plastic the gluten-free bread so the gluten-free products that I'm going for are things like the porridge oats it's actually the, the you know the natural gluten-free products I'm going for instead of the highly processed if you look at some of the gluten-free dairy-free cakes out there it's just like what the hell has that got in to make it look so good <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anita, do you think protein powder is stopping you from losing weight? I hope not, Anita. Um, I've been on the protein powder for the last five weeks. Um, so hopefully that is the one great thing which is making me feel full. As I said, um, being on this vegan thing, I actually feel a little bit deprived. And that protein powder is one of the few things where I actually feel like I'm really enjoying my life. Without it, I'm not sure I'd be enjoying my diet right now. Uh, Nikki, Nick, yes, I agree. I stopped taking the protein powder at three pounds off this week. Oh, Nikki. You know, guys, I love to trial things out. So maybe it's time to do a week without the protein powder. I will continue this week on the vegan and protein powder. Next week, if I don't have a weight loss, yes, 
I will stop the protein powder for one week and see what happens. The thing is, I have to lose weight. It doesn't matter what we do, I have to lose weight. So that's it from me, guys. Have a lovely weekend, uh, and I'll see you again later. Bye.